So in this video, we are going to learn more about the background or the backdrop and how this backdrop is arranged, right? So for that, I will uh, first choose a new backdrop. Let me choose a new backdrop and Scratch has laid this out beautifully. It's called XY grid and uh, let me take the XY 30 px grid. What it means is every block is 30 points horizontally and 30 points vertically. So every square is made up of 30 points and 30 points. So to understand how this layout is, let us try to create a new sprite. And I think the best way to do this will be a ball. Now this is my ball and it's quite big for this screen so I will change the size here to let's say 30 and it has become smaller so that I can place it somewhere here right now when I place it exactly in between so when I say x value is 0 and y value is 0 automatically it places itself right at the center and this point we call as the reference point now all the x values are measured horizontally Whereas Y values are measured vertically. So let me just change X value and see. If I change X value to 30, it takes me exactly one step away from the center. If I change the X value to 60, it will take me another step away. If I change the value to let's say 45, it takes me between 30 and 60. So if you change these values to different numbers, let's ch choose some negative values and see, you will be able to see that it, it is able to place itself on this horizontal because we are not changing the Y position. Now, if we keep the X as zero and Y, we change it to, let's say hundred, it automatically went on top. If I change it to a negative value, let's say negative 50, it will go below this point and 0, 0 is this. Let's say we change both y and x. So let's keep both positive and see where it goes. I just keep x as 60, y as, y as 120 and let's see where it goes. So it has gone 60 points to the right and 120 points on top. Let's just change the values to negative. Now, if I make X negative and keep Y the same, let us see where the ball moves. It moves on the left hand side because we have just changed the horizontal position. So X gives us the horizontal position. Now, if I change this to, let's say both become negative. So you can guess where it will go and let me do that. I put a minus sign and I press enter and here it goes. Because this negative sign tells me that it is to the left of zero and this negative sign tells me that it is on the, it is below the zero point or the origin. So let us change X to positive now and see that it has gone on the other side, right? So if you change, if X is positive, then it will be to the right of the zero point. If X is negative, it will be on the left of the zero point. You can just drag it around and check. If the Y is positive, then it will be on top. Somewhere, anywhere on top, the Y will always remain positive. X might change. And anywhere bottom of this zero, the Y will be negative. And we, we are going to make use of this concept throughout the course. So please try to play around and see how X and Y changes according to the, as you move this point around. Let us just check what are the extremes of this. So let us just move way to the right. Let's say, let's say I move here. It goes to about 230 
you can see it here 233 whereas if i go on top it moves to about 174 in y direction so the limits of this are 175 plus 175 it will take me on top and if i change it let, let me keep this y0 let us check the and if i change it to minus 175 it takes me right at the bottom let's see if i do y i make y0 x is also 0 right now let me just take this to 230 and it goes right to the edge so the edge on the to the side is at 230 and minus 230 let us change to minus 230 it can go slightly more than 230 points and that is all you can see here so we know that the screen is made horizontally it can travel from minus 230 to plus 230 yes or 240 to that and vertically it can move from vertically it can move from plus 175 to minus 175 so this is the limit of the screen so we have to work within these limits please play around with your sprite uh, on your interface and try it out before moving on to the next video thank you